days I was doing like like walkout songs for like strippers and stuff like that. Oh my These god. Were- <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Mixed by Jocelyn here and you're tuned in to Mixed Opinions and this is the first episode of season two. We had a little break, but we're back again, 2024. Here we go. Uh, Before I get started, a big shout out to Audio Movers. They're giving you guys one month free of Listen To. All you have to do is hit the link below, click the link and use code Mixed Opinions at checkout and you'll get one month free of their plugin Listen To. Shout out to Audio Movers. But today, we got the man himself on, George T Music, the legendary YouTube channel engineer, Top G. How's it going, bro? Going good. How about you, man? I'm all good, man. I'm all good. I'm actually really excited for this one. I have to say, just just off the cuff, I was like, when I, I've been watching your videos for so long, like for so long. I, I love um, like almost like the essay breakdown videos that you do on yeah. YouTube. And I was like doing the washing up. Uh, a few uh, a few months ago, and I was watching one of your videos about um, an, the SSL console, and I think it was about Mixed by Ali and how he uses the console. And then, bang, a clip of my podcast came up. I was like, yo, <laughs> let's go. This is sick. George T. Music is watching the fucking podcast. This is amazing. I was ran upstairs and said to my girlfriend, I was like, hey, look, <laughs> this is sick. So, yeah, big shout out to that, man. I really appreciate it. I was gassed. Because I've been watching, I've been watching your videos for a long, long time. I mean, like we'll we'll get into it properly, but like just to give you your props a little bit, like when when I was coming into the game, especially mixed by Ali, like I I I studied him so so much as a as a beginning engineer, and your videos just gave so much source to that. Do you know what I mean? And were so well put together. So firstly appreciate that man like because the information is just like it's so sparse and not there and if you just want to get all the bits your videos just nail it so yeah man really appreciate it but um let's get started man so uh for those that don't know uh obviously i've said a little bit now but i'd love for you to just to tell everyone a little bit about yourself what you do and um you know how you got into the industry so i'd say I initially got into the industry, you know, I, I kind of, I'll, I'll just start where I, you know, I kind of grew up playing music. Okay. So I've been playing guitar all my life. So that's really how I got into recording. And I kind of got into it with, I guess, the typical route that most people take. They are either, you know, a rapper or they're a musician. And they kind of, I guess, try to like make it in the music industry or they, or they're just interested in like playing. And then they kind of find the role of the engineer, which is kind of, someone who's more behind the scenes uh, just making everything happen so i found myself really liking that role of just kind of being behind the scenes and yeah grew up in virginia um basically just recording you know bands and stuff like that um so so more like sort of like rock bands things like that rather than like rap or anything exactly rock band stuff yeah and through that i kind of found mixing So again, started mixing like rock bands and stuff like that. Eventually kind of got an ear for like rap, hip hop and other genres of music. So from there, I basically just started like mixing freelance on Fiverr. Okay, (laughs) using Fiverr. (laughs) Yeah. That's interesting. I would not go to Fiverr. It's like $5. I I was going to say, because you hear about it all the time. You can, I see there's mix engineers on there, but I've never met or spoke to someone that actually has utilized it as a tool so you wouldn't sit but you wouldn't suggest it i wouldn't suggest i mean if there's people who could make it work then good for them but on there it's just like everyone's just it's just a race to the bottom everyone's just lowballing each other yeah i I was doing like competitive pricing yeah i I was doing like little jingles for libraries i was doing like like walkout songs for like strippers and stuff like that oh my god these are the types of budgets i was working with so it was like a 15 dollar like mix and master it was it was probably some of the most fun I had, though, like doing music. Just that's crazy. It's just the craziest things. Like you never know what was going to show up. I never even thought about that as being yeah. a job, like a walkout song to a, for a show. Yeah, like, no, 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 crazy. Yeah, that's brilliant. I was, I was like, yeah, yeah. So all sorts of. I mean, you know, whatever I could just to to make money with. Um, in music, yeah. In music, and I'm from there. 
that was kind of the time of the pandemic. You know, I was, I was still keeping that up, but I was like, man, how could I? And during that time, there was a lot of these sort of like Twitch streams, like Mixed by Ali, I started streaming, and Alex Tume was like also one of the first people who started streaming, like mixing content mm. on Twitch. Yeah, I and, was tuned into all of those. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> something to do is over anything as well in that time. Yeah, I mean, it was. I think Josh Goodwin, and it was, it was crazy during that time because I mean, think about it. Previously, if you wanted to get that information that they had, you would have to, you know, be in the room, be an assistant, or exactly, intern. yeah, or go to like one of the very few seminars that these guys would host. You know what I mean? And there, it can be expensive. So yeah, lo- lockdown was like hugely beneficial in that aspect of things like opening the door and almost strong-handed engineers into adopting that technology just to keep like pushing the relevancy of like everything do you know what i mean so exactly yeah yeah sick so and then so obviously that being the beginning Mm -hmm. where 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 was the birth of the channel like where where did that come about and how, how did that come about so the channel burst from mainly those Twitch streams, at least the first content that I made that took off. So earlier before that, I had the channel, but I was making videos like guitar videos and stuff like that. And some of their mix tips here and there, but that stuff, it got some traction. Like I was actually doing, I was one of the first people to do, to do a content on Adobe Atmos, like yeah, way before it was, or like just when it was taking off, like probably around the time when, a lot of the like major label mixers were getting yeah. notified that. And even was, today, like, it's like still not, there's not a lot of that kind of content. No, you know yeah, what I mean, absolutely. not as much as I think that there should be, or, you know, I, as I would have thought there would have been because it's such a new technology. Do you know what I mean? And like, I would have thought loads of people would have been jumping on it to make content around it, but it still feels sort of like an alien uh, territory almost. Yeah, I mean, I think with Atmos right now, is, there's so many different approaches to it that is still just super intimidating and crazy. And they're trying yeah. to make it more affordable. And actually, th- that's something I was trying to do with my videos. I was trying to kind of advocate for like, okay, this is something that you, you guys can approach from home. Like, you don't need, uh, you know, hundred thousand dollar speaker system. Yeah, with the like, with the whole binaural head uh, headphone mixing stuff like that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like it's changed the game. You know what I mean? Like I I don't have a surround sound like eight point da 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 speaker system in here, but I still do Atmos mixes just with my headphones stuff like that. And I'm Dolby certified, and I got certified just using headphones. So like obviously it's handy to use it as a reference if you have the space as a reference. But yeah, definitely totally achievable yeah i mean exactly that's that's what i was trying to push to my audience so started on youtube with some dolby videos and then from there i just started to do i think one of the first videos it was like i did, did like an alex tume like top shortcuts he uses and then i did like a mix by ali kind of um i think it was like i showcased a trick that he used where he used like an rvox to cut off the tail of the kick like kind of shape it a little bit yeah I've so. seen all of them, by the way. <laughs> like, I've watched all of the videos, <laughs> but like, so, but what? So, because obviously, the in my head, like the videos make so much sense when I'm watching them, and I'm like, this is exactly what I wanted. Like, someone to just explain all of this mass information and break it down into such a a, a consumable video, um, like. How did the because because it is essentially like you know an essay video like what you would hand yeah, in at university yeah, or something yeah. like that like or college if you're in America but like what like how did the co- what 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 sparked the idea to say do you know what I'm going to break this down and restructure it and put it as a video because that's what I'm so that's what what was so interesting for me about the videos. I'd say one big influence right off the top of my head is like CLA Wu and like the sort of clipping community like during that time like discord again this is during covid everyone was just kind of um you know taking clips of like cla who kind of came up if, are you familiar with him yeah 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 seen some of so, his stuff yeah. yeah he would take the kenny beats or like clips of kenny beats and repost on his channel yeah a lot of times like he was more popular than like kenny beats at some point like yeah just because his clips were going crazy on youtube so i kind of took some inspiration from that but i kind of decided to 
sort of add my own spin on things, not just like take the clip right from the video and just not even do like narration yeah. or anything. So that's kind of where I got that inspiration to start chopping things up. Yeah, because it, it that and, and that's the point. It's the it's your your voiceovers that make the the videos so uh, interesting because you know obviously these engineers, you know, you can be a brilliant engineer, right? But when it comes to trying to explain what it is that you're doing, and I feel like these live streams sort of demonstrated this, they're not very articulate and they don't know how to really explain it. And it almost makes the technique that they're doing come across even more baffling <laughs> than, than what it really is. So that's what the videos, why I found the video so interesting because I was like, okay, so we're watching this and then you are able to, obviously you're doing your own study of the technique and breaking it down in a way that's like as i said consumable to everyone so like yeah that that's what was like ah oh, this is unique and 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 is so useful do you know what i mean i feel like obviously your channel's grown quite a lot and mm -hmm. i think it's got yeah. scope to grow eat like massively do you know what i mean and it, it but it's just about because that but, but that's the skill set is the fact that you can articulate the technique i think so, yeah yeah and do you yeah, find that obviously that obviously I, I already know the answer, but do you find that that breaking those videos down obviously improves yourself as an engineer? I think, I think it does to some extent, you know, I, I, I'd say it kind of grows your mental Rolodex is what like you'll hear mixers talk about this, the mental Rolodex of different techniques, different sounds, different plugins. And you can, yeah, the, ba the bank of, of chains and yeah, techniques. And, of yeah. Exactly. All that stuff. But at some point you kind of need to kind of apply it on your own and practice it and also develop like your own signature sound as like a producer or a mixer or whatever. You don't just want to be copying exactly what people are doing. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So you got to find that balance. And yeah. I mean, watching these videos will help you, but it's no substitute for actually, um, you know, put, you got to put in the work and practice the techniques. You're not just going to watch this video and instantly be like sounding like mixed by Ali. Like no, once, yeah, know, and of course, and I, like think, I, think what, I think what people will will more so find is they'll try and copy the technique exact yeah, and it exactly. will sound shit. <laughs> and they'll be like, why doesn't it sound how mixed by yeah. Ali had it? But, yeah. but that's because, you know, obviously the tech the techniques are the tools, but the thing that gets the job done is the ears, you know, like you have to you have to be able to listen to it and know what's know what you're doing. So yeah, that's yeah. cool, man. Yeah, I, I think people just get caught up too much sometimes in like with like templates. And I mean, that stuff can help, but you got to at the end of the day, you got to just kind of use your gut instinct and your ears. And Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, templates can be useful, but in my in my opinion, templates should only be there as a time saver, not as a like a solution. If you see what I'm saying, like. I'll, I'll go to like i'm not trying to out any of my friends but like i'll go to some of their studios or whatever and then i'll see my template on there and they've not touched it at all and it will be like you know a rap a rap vocal chain that i made and they've nicked it and they've got it on some like r&b singer and i'm like what are you doing bro like like this is not what this was made for <laughs> like yeah so that that do steer steer clear of that and it can as well like it can make you kind of like um complacent as an engineer i think when you're too reliant on that stuff and you can end up like you know slowly falling off and because you you're not pushing yourself and you're not learning and you're not constantly because no song's the same so no no mix should ever be the same you know what i mean so but yeah exactly. that's so, that's so cool so outside of the outside of the channel mm -hmm. what sort of like obviously you are um uh, an engineer as well as as a as as a as a youtuber like you have to be to do those kind of videos you, you have to be an engineer do you know what i mean because mm -hmm. you have to have serious understanding so what sort of like where where are you at right now in terms of your career as an engineer and like what um sort of music are you working on and projects and stuff like that um as you, i guess i'm still pretty early on yeah. in my career doing engineering and mixing i mean i don't know if people know this i'm like I just turned 20 recently, so I'm like, wow, very just making like, me feel hella old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just still figuring this out. But right now, I just have, you know, a few, a few different artists I'm working with. 
get into rap. I just did a big mix, but I can't really talk about it yet. But big mix for this, like amazing. I know that. I know that feeling. <laughs> Hopefully, it's gonna come out. It's like a Christmas song. It's it's amazing. Oh, sick! So just just doing projects on the side, but you know, to be honest, YouTube takes up most of my time at this point now. But you know, yeah. I, I still try to keep things going on the side and different projects come in from YouTube, which is always nice. And I've got well, some. Well, that's good. what I was gonna say. It must work hand in hand, surely. Like you know the success of the videos is going to give people i mean because slightly that that's it's a it's a funny one because your target audience isn't the audience that's going to be buying your mixes you know what i mean yeah. your target audience is guys like me your your competitors almost you know what i mean but it must still lean into the fact that like obviously you demonstrate such an an extreme knowledge um of the industry and the techniques that you know it gives people the confidence to hire you as an engineer, no? Yeah, exactly. No, that that definitely happens. I mean, that's usually the case if someone does approach me. Yeah. You know, it yeah. happens a lot, but probably not as much as people like would think it does. Right, like, okay. Maybe but, then it's just figuring out how to approach it and make it more like try to create some snippets that can be captured more towards an artist that's trying to get something mixed. The, exactly yeah. yeah yeah so that's like a balance so with the youtube because obviously you said it takes up a lot of time and these videos must m must take time right yes, because because yeah. the the amount of detail that you go in and you know the clips that you're getting from i mean my podcast alone they're like over an hour right mm -hmm. and then all of the live streams you know they're wet they're into the hours long you must the, the research and time it must take to make these videos must be immense like how long does it how long are you spending on these videos it really depends video to video. I'd say it can be as little as like a week. All That's the way a long time. Month. That's a long all time. Week, all the way to a month. And I've wow. spent a month on some videos before. So That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, it can get crazy. Just It just depends. You know, I just try to collect and research different things whenever I can. I kind of just have like a bank of different clips going and different things that I can just rely on. Yeah. Of. So like you'll watch something and then things that you find interesting, you'll clip right then and there sort of thing and just hold in a bank. And then a video might kind of appear from those struck that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm always, I'm basically almost always like watching some sort of content on producing or mixing, just one to get clips from it or just, just find inspiration, honestly. Yeah if there's anything that pops up yeah that's that's really cool man that's really really cool so going going off of the youtube we'll come we'll come back to all that stuff um in, in a bit but like just some questions that i like to ask on uh the the show because they kind of like spark interest and whatever um and if you don't feel comfortable saying it because some people don't um but i love one of the questions i love to ask is like obviously as an engineer being in a studio we are problem solvers and for problems to occur there has to be fails yeah so things go wrong off the top of your head like what's like the what's like a studio fail where it's like oh this has been so annoying or this has caused me so much stress or embarrassment like do you, do you have anything off the top of your dome <laughs> i don't have anything that's like that was during a client session but there was kind of a at the time I went to this, this master class at the studio and um, there was like an engineer, there's two engineers there and they were trying to figure out how to work this, this like 1176. Oh, okay. So I, I walk up to, um, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to help out. Oh but, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I go up to him like, Hey, let me, um, you know, let me try, try to help you. I guess they can, I don't know if they can figure out how to turn it on or whatever. And anyway, so I always thought the way you turned on an 1176, because because I never had any of the real ones, is you turn like the attack knob where it says off. Oh, I see. I go up to him and I, I'm like, yo, this is how you turn it on. And then the other guy was like, no, nah, like not at all. Like, <laughs> and it turns out that I, I don't I don't really want to say his name, but that engineer hit was like, I mean, he had worked with like Michael Jackson and like oh, he was okay. a legend. Yeah, he, like, he knew what he was doing. <laughs> I, I like embarrassed myself like pretty bad. But I, I didn't know at the time. You know, I was just trying to help. But I learned then and there. It's like, I don't know. Dude, I think you'll find though. I I think you'll find that like whoever the engineer was, they wouldn't have been like, oh, who's this punk? Do you know what I mean? Like guys tend to love that 
confidence. Do you see what I'm saying? And just like the, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll give it a go. Because, you know, a lot of it is just like, especially when you're starting off, it's like a false confidence. Like, I know what I'm doing. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, let me be the person to take the buttons. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, most of the time the to turn on those compressors, you just, um, there's like a gain button. Yeah, there's a button. There's a buns on the side. Yeah, I just, the I, game I, button. You hit the game yeah. button, and then it turns on. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, exactly. Because it's the meter, <laughs> the meter. Because it's yeah. <laughs> but there is a switch at the back, but they tend to keep them on because they're always racked. But like, yeah, yeah that's fun. That's that. Yeah, that I can see. Yeah, that there. Yeah, there's some. There's some moments there. I mean, I, you know, I've had loads, so everyone has them. But they're all funny. And the thing is, the mo the most important thing is their learning curves. Do you know what I mean? Because no doubt now, the next time you come across eleven seventy six, you'll know how to turn it on. Yeah, you? exactly. So, yeah, that, <laughs> that's the that's the main thing. Um, another question is just that curiosity, obviously, because you do so much research into this stuff. Like, what DAW do you use? I'm in Pro Tools. 100%. Pro Tools. Okay. I think yeah. that's like the majority of America is Pro Tools, isn't it? So. I, I mean, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it, everyone, says, everyone says it's the industry standard, but it, it's true. It's. Yeah. I mean, I just love the workflow in there for mixing. I think it's it's definitely untouched, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I mean, we, I, I use a combination of Pro Tools or Logic, like depending on what I do. A lot of tracking I do, I do it in Logic because um, I, I like getting a bit pr like production-y sometimes and I feel like it's a lot easier to lean into like the production side of things within Logic. Like Logic kind of like covers all bases a bit more easy, more simply. But like, and plus I know the shortcuts so much. I know the shortcuts like off the, like, like second nature. So it's faster for me. But I think that's the case with all of them. But definitely I do see that. Over here though, it does seem like, um, especially all the new, the new generation of engineers like in the uk I feel, I feel like pro tools is becoming almost like the second door i think everyone seems to be using logic now on uh, hmm. for, in the uk anyway I, I know in america i think in america any major studio you're gonna have to know how to use pro tools do you know what i mean if you go into any studio you you gotta know that door like the back of your hand otherwise you're you're, you're out of the door but no pun intended but yeah that's yeah okay cool sweet so I've spoken about what inspired your studio. So, I mean, with, 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 with the, with the YouTube channel, like what's the plan for it? Like, do you, do you, do you see, cause you must have like an idea of like, okay, this is actually done really well. Like, and cause bro, like everyone loves the videos, like, and and you know all of my guys they all watch it like it's become like a oh george c music's got a new video let's let's go do you know what i mean like i'm I'm watching it so like where where do you see it growing to do you see it have you uh, any ideas for development like new types of content or you know it's for me i, I just for me it's just keeping it consistent right now just uploading every week um is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get back on track. Yeah. Because um, do, do, do you not see maybe yourself becoming more of a, like a presence in the channel rather than like a, a narrator, like more like putting your, putting yourself on the camera at all and, and doing your, your own kind of videos? You know, it's possible. And I, I've thought about stuff like that. I haven't really like tried that out yet. That's something I could experiment with, but, you know, I, I think I get, just got to remember that you know, I mean, the reason people are showing up to my channel is to kind of watch. It's not necessarily about me and the channel. You know, it's about other people that are being presented on the channel. And I break it down in like a good way, but they aren't necessarily coming to like watch like my techniques. Or I, I would techniques. I would beg to differ a little bit. And I, I think obviously, I think right now I can see your point on that and why you believe that right and that's and and that's the clickbait of it right yeah because it's like they're gonna they're gonna type in how mixed by ali does his drums right and then your video is gonna pop up and it's gonna be consumable and brilliant and exactly what they wanted right but i think the main one of the main things with your videos 
is, as I said before, is the fact that you know how to articulate yourself. You know how to explain things. And that is actually what makes the videos good. It doesn't become, it, obviously the, the, the core of the content is there and it's important. But I think you could take that and put that in any, you could take out the person and your video is still going to maintain all of the information. It's still going to be as good and it's still going to have all of the grasp of uh, and people are going to get what they uh, what they want from it. Do you see what I'm saying? So like and as your as your platform grows and you show more about yourself, then that's what people want to that's what people are going to come back for. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm going to your videos because as a as as an engineer already, like most of the techniques that you're that that you are breaking down in the video, I kind of like know and I've studied and do already. I'm going for the video to see how you've approached it. Do you see what I'm saying? And watch how you've studied it and how and your opinion on it. Not so much the other people, I have to say. So may, maybe that's food for thought. I don't know. Because I think that there's something there to grow into personally. Yeah, huh. I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm just gonna have to like explore that. It just has this. I just haven't really thought of it. Yeah, like that. They like. Yeah, so, but uh, I, and I mean, it will make making the videos a lot easier. Obviously, you can continue to do those videos, but like you could just, you know, I'm gonna teach this today, and then you ain't got to sieve through like days worth of footage trying to find the right clips and stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just make the clips yourself, um, or even like yeah. you know, you said you so. That was what one of the other things that you're talking about. Obviously, you said a bit about the interview side of things. So, um, how long have you been sort of like diving into that, and and like what what's the process? Is it like is it more like a podcast situation, or are you still trying to do the YouTube of the videos and things like that? It's still definitely like a YouTube thing. I mean, I haven't explored other podcast platforms, although I'm sure if I did look into that i could probably make something that yeah, would do most definitely well. most definitely <laughs> yeah, within the audio community but um yeah it's, it's still very much a youtube thing i think i started doing it about a year ago at this point and it just started with me just reaching out to different guests it started with um depth from a uh, million dollar snare oh amazing guest. he's uh, he's he's got yeah. i want to get on here he's a guy i want to get on here to be fair i need to reach out to him yeah, no, he, amazing guest. And actually, there was a whole nother like um, interview I filmed with him. I still haven't put out. We were uh, supposed to like finish filming it, but it's him talking about how he mastered the melodic blue, like oh wow, from like start to finish, like the whole process of what it takes to like actually assemble one of these albums. Because people talk about like mastering on a song by song basis, but not a lot about how like how do you actually compile? Yeah. These, like, major albums because even like little stuff yeah because yeah, even like the spaces in between the tracks can take so much detail to figure out and sit with like the silence is important do you know what i mean and that just wouldn't even occur to a lot of people do you know what i mean like but the silence between one track finishing and another starting can you know i've seen a mastering engineers bug out about milliseconds of like nudging it do you know what i mean so, yeah. yeah, yeah, all that all that stuff's critical. Like the little fades, like you can hear that. At least for me, I think there's a difference between like a good master and engineer's fade and like a bad master and engineer's fade. You can hear like oh, a hundred percent. You shouldn't be able to notice it. You shouldn't be able to notice it. Yeah, yeah exactly. if you can hear the fade, it's a bad fade. You know, like <laughs> if you hear it fade, if you hear it noticeably fading out, you're like, what? <laughs> like because yeah, it takes yeah. away from the <laughs> listening experience. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It takes away from the listening experience. You want to be able just to like, oh, the song's finished and the next one started and not really have to, it shouldn't ever process that that's a thing. And yeah, a lot of, uh, uh, yes, a lot of, uh, a lot of artists, uh, not so much the engineers, but a lot of artists have no idea that that's even a process when it comes to building their albums. Do you know what I mean? So that might, uh, yeah, that would be a really cool uh, interview. I look for, who, who, what other guests have you um, had on? Who have you, who else have you been interviewing? Dale Becker, another killer master engineer. Um, Prizzy, Preston Prizzy Reed, amazing like hip hop R and B mixer. Yeah, I think he, I think he's gonna be like at the top of uh, like the top R and B mixer. Like, oh really? I think he's definitely gonna get that. that yeah. I think he already is at that spot. He's doing like money long and like usher like crazy. Oh shit! Stuff, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's there. <laughs> he's there. Yeah. <laughs> sick amazing so and you so that's that going into 2024 that's going to be something that you're gonna 
like really like dive down into. Yeah, ho- hopefully hone in on more and honestly get more of a production going. Like, like are you doing them in on. person or are you doing them sort of like how we're doing now on a call? I, w- I want to do in person, but I would have to. I wish I was in LA. It was in LA, honestly, so I could yeah go out because I mean I'm even looking at doing something with Tizio soon, like an interview, and they they asked like, hey, are you? here in LA in person because we can do it there. And I was like, yeah, his his team actually reached out um, and said that he's a fan of this set, this show as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To- <laughs> maybe, maybe we got the same email. <laughs> but like, I, I was gassed because I was like, yeah. yeah, definitely. Like, I met him. I think you were there as well at Nam, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I was, yeah. I was, yeah. yeah. Oh man, I'm surprised I didn't see you. I would have gone up to him, and been like, "Bro, <laughs> it was good. yeah, yeah." No, I was, I was, uh, I was like glued to the engineer tent. I'm not gonna lie. I was, no, I was there. There were some good, some good talks. And stuff. Oh, mate, sick talks. Yeah, I loved it, man. Like those guys were really cool. Like uh, Maheta and uh, Ali and stuff. They really like looked oh, yeah. after me. Mm-hmm. So, because I, 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 they, 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 they invited me out there to, to, to like go and meet them. Because I was, and I, I was like, mate, I've i'm so gassed like let's go like i'm 100 percent down so and that's actually what sparked the idea to do this show to be fair off of the back of that me going there and that experience and meeting like devon and um elgene and all those guys and I, I even said to them i was like i'm gonna do what you're doing in the uk and i'm starting it now like let's go so and that now we're here <laughs> like, but um yeah that's sick man uh going going off of, again off of the youtube i like to just keep it pacing and stuff but um and i'm sure people would love to know this as well i think people would love to know this because obviously you spend a lot of time researching these plugins and how they're being used and uh obviously making videos at the moment what are your top three plugins that you, that you like and that you're using i'd say pro q3 I mean, that's been every that's, si- every that's person a, that's, yeah, that's a good this um, is like episode 13 or four, 15 i can't remember but like every person has said that <laughs> pro q3 <laughs> pro q3 is amazing yeah they need I mean, to bring out like a special edition <laughs> yeah i mean that'd be like awesome. a gold like a gold version oh, of the yeah. real keys. <laughs> but, um yeah perky three and then a waves plugin called kaleidoscopes kaleidoscopes yeah i've heard of that i've not used that so explain yeah. to the audience sort of like what that plugin does it's like flanger chorus tremolo modulation but it works off of the track that you feed it so it's it's what they call energy so instead of working off with like i think instead of like setting the bpm or whatever it like just a set pattern the it track. feels the, the pul- yeah. pulse of the record yeah it feels the pulse the pulse of whatever you put it on and it Amazing. adjusts these different effects and it just adds like movement it's like if you just want to if you just have like a stiff sound you just want to kind of put it back and you just want to make it like move a little bit like and, maybe some shakers or something like that yeah shakers or anything and i just okay. go over the presets until it finds <laughs> yeah i might have to i might have to i might have to download that and look at that that sounds really cool actually the 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 whole like idea of it reading feeling the track is is uh that's interesting that's really cool you got one more though Ooh, i'd say another stand i mean the uad pool tech i just got that but yeah great, great. Are, you, are you using yeah. the are you have you are you using the spark bundle yeah, I got the Spark bundle. Yeah, and it's yeah. crazy. It's fifty bucks. UAE. Yeah, it's yeah, sick. yeah, yeah. That is sick. I used the yeah. So I have the subscription. I just still like. I can't believe the plugins that they put in the subscription. I'm like, mate, like, this is so cool for like twenty dollars a month or whatever it is. And it's like, what? <laughs> I've got all of these plugins. It's so cool. Yeah, I mean, I remember them being like three hundred dollars for like per plugin. Like exactly. Just, yeah, I, I don't know. They're just. They're going with the waves, uh, thirty dollars right. a plug. And then, like, uh, yeah, it's... obviously waves went about it in the wrong way, but like, <laughs> um, and there was a big, there was a big uh, rise up in the in the industry about that. They they got big backlash from that, but um, they obviously they've slightly redeemed themselves now. But sure. um, but UAD, I feel like yeah, that's I, I I like what they've done, and I think it's especially it's just made the plugin so much more accessible for everyone. Do you know what I mean? Like even like my guys, because I do a mentorship where I teach uh, other engineers how to mix. I could do like an eight week course thing, 
And I'm like, yeah, man, like do the trial. We'll do the course. And like, because I think you get like a month free or something. I'm not sure. But um, or a week. But like, and then none of them ever get rid of it because they're like, OK, yeah, I know. And so Pete, so engineers are able to like use the best plugins straight off the cuff. Do you know what I mean? They don't have to spend time using the trying to find cracks or do you know what I mean? Or or like using like the 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 like uh base plugins that you get with the with the doors even though some of those are fantastic but like you know they're able to really dive in and like get to know these plugins from the from the from the jump and the textures and the sounds that they can bring which is so if you guys ain't using it try spark and uad shout me because i'm down yeah to work. <laughs> I, mean, I need that uad sponsorship trust me 100 percent. i don't, I don't so, they don't I'm seem like, to do much yeah. they don't seem to do yeah, much. Oh, i wanted to reach out to them but um yeah, I just haven't done it yet. I should. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, a hundred. I did some Ali video with like Voice of God, and it was like got a hundred thousand views on like I've had to at least sold. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I mean, I remember watching that video and I had it in my basket and I was like, mm, yeah, that because that video, that video was good. The Voice of God video. <laughs> yeah. What 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 has been is is was that your most successful video? I think the most successful one. If I, I think it's I think it was a DJ Khaled one, which is really. Uh, I think close to maybe a little over four hundred thousand. Um, trying to check here. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, some, somewhere over four hundred thousand, four hundred fifty thousand. That's maybe. so good, man. That's so good. And I mean, yeah. I can see it getting uh, for like audio stuff. Like that's really good. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, 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 no. I, I can see it getting even bigger. Do you know what I mean? I mean, for me, I'm, I'm surprised this many people are interested in like such a niche subject to me yeah i mean it's it's just hard for me to like i still don't really understand why these videos get so many views i mean it's it, it's, it, just, it, it's, it's a balance like because there's because again uh lockdown done a lot for the industry and changed the industry it was already going this way like diy producers and engineers um and like it becoming much more accessible things becoming more affordable so people are sitting there like trying to get these sounds do you know what i mean and 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 saving themselves some some dough by by hiring an engineer and trying to do it themselves and engineers trying to improve themselves do you know what i mean and they they'll be they they'll be there you so you've hit the nail on the head you know they're they're looking for the artists that they love and then they're googling how do they get that sound and then your videos obviously are the ones that are going to pop up because they're the most um detailed and are so connected because it's you know there's been videos like it before where people are like how to get that travis scott sound and then yeah. i'm kind of i'm kind of uh i'm kind of um counteracting myself here because of what i said earlier but like it's them telling the story and them doing it with no travis scott vocals their own vocals and just emulating the sound but you're actually demonstrating the techniques with the actual people that are making them the sounds themselves and explaining it not being said that i still feel like there's a, a a space for you yourself to to sort of like demonstrate it as well do you know what i mean and be like here's an example or whatever do you know what i mean have you oh, yeah. have you thought about sort of and if you don't want to talk about this it's fine because it's sort of like personal business stuff but like have you thought about ways of sort of like obviously you monetize the channel right so you make income from your youtube uh which i feel like people are interested in do you know what i mean it, it's something that people are would love everyone loves everyone would be like yes sweet i make money out of making youtube videos but like have you thought about any sort of like expansion into that like of like selling something off of the back of the success of the videos you see what i'm saying like uad making a buckload of money off of your voice of god video like how can you you know yeah put put that put that money back in your pocket do you see yeah. what i'm saying no no that's something i mean i've been really thinking about and working on um not as much as i should be but really uh, i've been thinking about one doing plugins um i've started learning about making um george t music plugins let's go but i think which is difficult, by the way. People who don't know, making a plugin's hard. Most people just hire a developer, which you know I've been considering as well. Yeah. Um, do Do you know? Um, do you know uh, uh, what's his name? Um, plugin obsession. 
No, no. Is that? I think that's his name. Yeah. Um, it's a Turkish guy. Let me just check one sec because this might be a link for you, like a good link. Um, I'm good. This is everyone that's just listening to this is going to be like, what the hell's going on? Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Plug in obsession. Um, Google him. I'll send you a link after this. He makes his own plugins. The guy is a G and he makes, su I use his plugins all the time and he gives them away for free. Um, he has like a Patreon that you can subscribe to, but he does like emulations of like all the best plugins. So like, you know, the, the SSL bus compressor, mm. obviously there's so many variants of that plugin. I use his, which is free. Cause I think it's amazing. Oh, wow. Like he's really cool guy from Turkey, like super sound guy. I, I, maybe I'll li link you up because he's like really, yeah. he's really good at it. And if it's something that you're trying to get into, maybe some, maybe a little conversation could be had. Yeah. You know, that'd be amazing. Yeah. And yeah. So plugins and besides that doing like a mix with the masters type, like platform, I think that's what could really be the next opportunity for me. Cause it just makes so much sense. Like if I do a video about someone and that leads to like a course. Um, right. Okay. So working with that. engineers to build, uh, like, like build, designated yeah, YouTube content that people content. can subscribe to. Yeah, exactly. I like that like, idea. Yeah. Yeah. That that's yeah. a cool idea. I, I mm -hmm. do. And, and, and you're the, you are in a very unique position to do that. Yeah. I think I, I feel like, yeah, definitely, definitely yeah. up there. Well, sure. I, I, I'll, I'll be one of the first, I'll be one of the first guy, guys to buy that if you do. Oh yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. Love. I love that idea. That's really cool. But yeah, sweet. I'm glad you're thinking about it. I'm glad you're thinking about it. Cause I am. It's just getting the context and well, I have, you know, the context, but just working things out and having yeah. your own stuff. Of course, it's just, yeah it's, yeah it's that, 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 that's the thing like obviously not to sound like patronizing because clearly you're not i'm um, uh, at all but w you know when i was your age i was not anywhere near as switched on do you know what i mean so like making sh like making sure that you're like you know exactly the position that you're sitting in and like where where you can take it man like because you can really build from this like 100 percent. like i'm now at my age 10 years older trying to do it after doing all of the other stuff just see what i'm saying so like because exactly. i realized just how beneficial it is to have content out there and how great it feels as well just to be able to give back to the community and show people like you know th this is why i really really wanted to do this episode because i feel like you you know you're you me and you are on the same understanding of like what and the, we do this for the same reasons do you know what i mean like you you clearly wanted those videos that's what you were looking for online mm -hmm. so you were like i'm gonna make them do you know what i mean yeah. like and that's and and that and you filled a void for everyone that people were that everyone was missing so have you had anyone like that you've made videos i'm sure you have but like have you had anyone that you've made videos about like shout at you and be like the video is dope or whatever i'd say definitely like ali yeah uh, he is such a nice guy and he really does uh, care yeah and, and i don't know if he watched the videos but <laughs> that name he's like oh yeah i watch all the videos i'm like well, what is... of course like, he I, does I just, of course he does yeah. he knows he's he is watching he is watching yeah. so but, that was crazy um yeah yeah he's amazing. a nice guy man he's a really nice guy and it, it but but it leans into what he does as well because he he his whole company is about you know helping the next generation of engineers so he's obviously going to be watching them do you know what i mean and he wants to see who's doing what and yeah i'm in the process of making some videos for them at the moment um oh, awesome. for yeah. their for their platform like some tutorial videos but yeah and i mean i'm like dude a hundred percent like i you know what i mean that i'm like i'll do that any day of the week for you guys because of how much that they've they offer the rest of the community do you know what i mean so shout out engineers i'll link them in the description because they're awesome but yeah man so um coming to the sort of like end of the of the the pod the couple of questions i like to ask is and i'm quite interested in this one because you are quite young and you're doing quite cool things um where do you see yourself in five years time that's a tough one for me um 
I mean, hopefully at least still doing the content thing and hopefully actually doing some, you know, getting out and doing more engineering or mixing. I think that's hopefully a given. Records. Yeah. So, I mean, that that's all I'm asking for. You know, I, I try not to, I want to have a plan, but, you know, I just, I also want to be open to what comes my way because I, you know, I never expected this YouTube thing to like take off. Like yeah. The way it did. I couldn't have planned that. So. I just try to kind of stay open. Just yeah, because you've experienced what, what 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 can happen if you do just exactly. try. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, get that. Yeah, mean. but that yeah, that's I mean, I I I don't I can't. That's that's why I've asked you these kind of questions because it's almost like me. I'm excited for you because I'm like I can see so much potential in it, and I'm like I want to make sure that you know that this could do like such cool things. You know what I mean? And like any, obviously anything I can do to like fucking help or whatever, I'm always, always there to, on the other side of the message, just shout me. I'll definitely be involved. Yeah, to help I, you yeah I appreciate it so much. Thanks. Yeah. Like yeah. if you want to do something, like do something over in the UK or whatever, or, you know, reach out to any UK guys, like I can always help. Do you know what I mean? So, and, um, I mean, that is, this is like the opposite question. But if you were, had an opportunity to talk to your younger self, what advice would you give them, knowing what you know now? I'd say, I'd say it's sometimes good to just take a break or just you know leave time for yourself. Because honestly, doing you know doing YouTube's great, but it can be a lot. Like it's just a lot of you know I did sacrifice like a lot honestly to just like do these videos that take super long to yeah you know make so just yeah don't, don't be afraid to just like slow yeah. down at times yeah 100 percent. i, I couldn't ag- i couldn't agree more i'm literally coming off of the back of taking a break from this because i knew in myself that i was like man i'm getting burnt out like this is crazy i'm doing all the engineering trying to do the podcast trying to make youtube videos like it is a lot and I, so I can totally emphasize, emphasize with you. And I'm glad that you've co- sort of uh, have an understanding of that now because, yeah, it will save you some serious stress in the future. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So 100%, 100%. I mean, like, you know, even just like getting more, being organized and having scheduling to it, do you know what I mean? Is because that that's the thing. When you're, you, we're fighting a algorithm is that's the thing. Like, and if, you know, I get it. If you're not posting every week, the algorithm will... Um, you know, cut you for that, like, in, in, yeah. in, 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 and won't put your videos at the right places. So it's stressful. Like, you know, I wish YouTube would realize that. No, it's, you know it's, I mean? it's crazy how that works. That happened to me. Like, I had one video got 250,000. Next video got like, I think like 5K. Yeah. I, yeah, I took exactly. a month break. This is, it's like, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm expecting my videos don't do anywhere near those numbers. Hopefully one day. But like, you'll get there. You'll get there. Yeah. So, but, you know, I'm expecting a dip even from this, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, yeah but I, I, but, but a hundred percent, like I'm, yeah, as, as, as you are with your videos, I'm dedicated to this channel and making this channel like a staple in the industry. So uh, uh, just a place where people can go and rely on good information uh, and get a little bit of store, uh, some stories from the people that they inspire them. Do you know what I mean? So Exactly. And that's why I was glad to talk to you today because full, you know, I've said it a few times, but you inspired me, man. Do you know what I mean? And I watch your videos all the time. So, and you've helped me out a bunch without you even knowing it. Do you know what I mean? And I've been in some like sticky mixes and I'm like, oh, how can I do this? And then bang, the the video's there. And it's like giving me the inspiration to to fix the mix or like try this or try that. Do you know what I mean? Because that's a lot of the time what it is. I'm just stuck in the rut. I'm doing the same old thing. And I'm like, it's not working and then i'll watch jump on youtube and then like a video like yourselves will come up and i'm like oh bang like it might not, i might not even use the technique that you're talking about in the video like but it, it it the the video inspired me just to try a, something a different technique do you see what i'm saying so that's exactly. really, yeah, that, yeah that's really cool man and lastly before i I'll take up any more of, of your time um what advice would you give to any engineers uh or in your case, I mean, like YouTubers or content creators getting into the space. Like, what advice would you give them um, when it comes to like getting into your industry and your space? I said, just be consistent and make stuff that's that you would want to watch and that's actually entertaining. 
Yeah. Like it's got to be unique. It's got to be entertaining. You can't, you got, you got to work at it for maybe years before stuff happens. So, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. No, everyone take note. And if you're not, if you've not watched George T's videos, which I'll be surprised if, if you're watching my videos, probably you have, um, his YouTube channel will be linked below and as well as his Instagram um and yeah go watch his videos follow him up because i'm telling you he he has the source and he is delivering it on a regular basis um i really appreciate you coming on and taking the time to talk to me today um, yeah, i appreciate you having me on man. thanks so much 100 percent first, first podcast so it's exciting well we, we, we'll have to do a part two i was gonna say maybe yeah. um i should be coming over to the states uh soon um like one of the nams or something like that like so maybe, okay yeah yeah you I know mean, i'm going man so okay i'm trying to figure it out at the moment i've had way too many uh conversations and offers for me it would be silly if i didn't go so i'm trying yeah. to work it out at the moment so if i do go we'll definitely link up um and maybe we could do a like a part two or even just you know talk talk shop you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be out there. I mean, silly for me not to. My brother lives there, so like, oh, that's I, awesome. Yeah, 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 he lives in LA, so it's like, why should, <laughs> why not? Yeah. But um, yeah, he's juggling a lot of plates at the moment. But <laughs> but yeah, th- as I said, thank you so much for coming on, everyone. Go and follow up George T Music. Check out his page, and make sure on that note, make sure you give this one a like, share it, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Safe.